thought I'd talk today about something which has really always been best practice. Uh, it's just in this current time, it's really important that we get out and we support the companies and the brands that we believe in, that we know, like, and trust, most importantly, that we trust um, in any way we can possibly do it. Uh, you know, businesses are gonna struggle. A lot of them are gonna close down. And it doesn't have to be that way for all the ones that will close with the support of the people who know them and who like them and who trust them uh, with their business. So today is all about being supportive and in ways it doesn't have to cost you. It doesn't cost you a dime. Any of the things I'm gonna to suggest to you today, uh, you know, obviously continue to do business with them if you can, if they're a restaurant and they're not offering takeaway, a bit hard. But <clears throat> other businesses, especially ones that help you grow your business, that help your customers in some way, that help you deliver better services to your customers um, and, and help you transform the way you do stuff, whatever it is, there are businesses out there that you can be supportive of right now. And as I said, there are ways you can do it without costing you a dime. So everyone's on social and social is going crazy. Obviously people like me and you and everyone else is out posting videos and memes and hell knows what else. So. One thing you can do is when someone posts, someone, when a business uh, posts something that, and it's a company you like, then you can share their post. You can share it and ideally share it very fast. It will help in the algorithms of these different things like LinkedIn and Facebook and everything run. The faster you share it from the moment they post it, apparently, I'm not an expert in this, but apparently that um, adds to the, you know, the ranking that they get and how much further it gets uh, shared to um, uh, other people. Um, Simply like their posts, you know, if you like what they have to say, then like it. Obviously, if you don't agree with it, then don't, you know, if you do if you don't agree with it and like it, and you don't have to just thumbs up, you can do all sorts of other, um, all sorts of other uh, reactions to posts these days, and then give a comment. And that's the, that's one of the other things, comment on the post that people, um, people put up. Again, it helps, helps their post to rise to the service above the rest, and there's gonna be a hell of a lot of noise out there, there already was a hell of a lot of noise. There's gonna be a lot more noise out there on social now. Um, you could repost it, you know? Um, you could repost what they've done. So that's sort of sharing what they've done. So um, when I said before sharing a post, I actually meant reposting their post, but there's something else you could do. You could, for example, share a post on your timeline that you initiate about a business that you like. Hey, I really love what Johnny, Jim and Jack do over at ABC Limited. Um, they always offer the best service guys and girls um, looking forward to continue doing business with you. That sort of thing, right? So you could you could share one of their posts or you could share a brand new post uh, and, and mention them in it uh, so that other people see that it's a genuine testimonial. Obviously, don't go and do it if you don't believe in them, right? I mean, we're not talking about going and doing fake testimonials and reviews. We're talking about giving genuine feedback and genuine uh, heartfelt comments on... Uh, you know, businesses that you like. So another couple of possibilities, tag them in a post. If you're putting a post out, uh, which is not directly about them, but you know, it might be about, um, well, make it about customer service, make it about um, uh, a system that works, make it about, you know, maybe it's an internet provider, maybe it's an accountant, maybe it's something about business, you know, like um, uh, your, your financials or running a business and something you can say, you know, you're, you're commenting about running a business, you say like, and we really love the work that our accountants ABC Limited do, right? Um, and just tag them in it, right? Um, you're giving an indirect review to them, it's gonna help them. So uh, another thing is you could take a photo, take an old photo that you have that you took with them at some stage and post that, and again, tag them with that. Or just give a general shout out, like platforms like LinkedIn give you the possibility to, uh, you know, to give kudos to people. Uh, it's just, just literally give kudos and, and then it runs you through a process for doing that. And you can do that on other platforms as well. The core message here is engagement, right? Um, this goes beyond followers and all that sort of stuff. This is about engagement. The people that you know, like, and trust. If you want to see them around post COVID-19, um, there is a possibility they won't be around. So if you want to see them around, do what you can do to support them. Uh, and these are just a few of the ideas. Help them get their engagement levels up because the more you engage with their content, and engage with them through your content, the more that they're going to be ranked and the more people are going to see them. They're going to be, you know, their profiles will be shared with your community and, and, uh, and hey, 
you'll be shared with their community as well. So there is a decent little bit of karma going on there as well. Anyway, so today was, this message was really short and sharp. It's about being supportive of the businesses you know, like, trust, love, and it's about engaging. And in ways it doesn't cost you a thing. Get out there, let's all survive this thing together and not just survive it, let's thrive through it. Let's all do our very best to help each other thrive through it. Thanks very much for watching.